G'day everyone. Yesterday, the state government introduced legislation to create a new organisation called Fire Rescue Victoria. This will bring together MFB and CFA career firefighters into the one organisation and establish CFA as a dedicated volunteer firefighting service. We all know this reform has been flagged for a long time and we've commenced planning for the change. But the really important responsibility we as leaders have is ensuring that our members are informed and listened to throughout this entire process. As a start, we've set up a dedicated email address for you to send through any questions, concerns or ideas. The email address can be found in the organisation-wide communication I sent out yesterday. If the legislation is passed, we'll be commencing a thorough process of engagement over the coming months. We'll have a clear timeline to inform our planning around that engagement if the legislation is passed. We're already getting some questions and comments into the reform email address, which I'm happy to address today. First of all, there's been some concern raised about the future of volunteers at our 38 integrated stations. I just want to reassure everybody that the volunteers in integrated stations will not lose their roles. All CFA volunteer brigades will retain their brigade identity and continue to operate within their district under the leadership of the CFA Chief Officer. In our integrated stations, CFA career firefighters will become Fire Rescue Victoria employees, but both volunteers and career staff will remain in the same building and work alongside one another as they do today. We have a responsibility to maintain interoperability and maintain the excellent working relationships we have now. We're not losing those career firefighters, they'll still be Victorian firefighters. They'll just be looked after by an organisation focusing on the support of paid firefighters, leaving us in CFA being able to increase our focus on supporting our volunteers. Some questions we've been receiving have been related to about who will have command and control of fire grounds in and around Fire Rescue Victoria areas once they're established. Control agency arrangements will not change. The first arriving officer still becomes the incident controller and any changes to that are in accordance with the operating procedures on transfer of control that apply across all of our emergency services right now. We continue to receive your feedback and have been collating and we'll continue to collate all of it and we'll respond as soon as we can uh, to keep you all updated on any matters that uh, you raise with us on the legislation detail, details, particularly around changes uh, in staffing and volunteering roles and responsibilities. There's also been some more specific questions around operational models, equipment allocations and upgrades. And it's really early days yet as you'd appreciate and these are matters that we'll be addressing as part of the consultation and implementation process following the successful passage of the legislation. We'll certainly be communicating with you over the next 12 months as we work through these matters with government and of course with our uh, emergency service partners. In the meantime, I acknowledge that any change is hard and appreciate that these organisational changes can cause or may cause stress and anxiety to people. And I'd remind you that we have CFA welfare services available on the 1800 959 232 number. As always, I thank you for your hard work and dedication. Keep focused on why we're here. We exist for the community, we're a part of the community, and we must keep the community at the centre of everything you do. If you do have any further questions or issues, please send them through, keep the communication lines open, and remember, we're all here for the same thing.